Hi, my name is Bradley Robinson, and I will be performing a monologue from Joseph Arnon called Fighting in Iraq. Thank you. You want to know what it was like? Fine. I'll tell you, because I can just about face it. When I was over there, it was the scariest time of my entire life. Every day, bombs going off. Bullets flying at you at any moment from any direction. Screaming, yelling in a language that you have no understanding of. It's haunting. You'd be walking through towns that we just blew to shreds. We'd see children. There was this one little girl, about four years old. Cutest thing you'd ever laid your eyes on. She was standing there in the ruins in shock from what had happened. She didn't know whether to cry, scream, run. She was all alone and helpless. So I walked over to this little angel. And I knelt down and I looked into those dark eyes of hers. And I said, Hi, I'm Tom. Everything's okay, sweetie. And I will never forget this for the rest of my life. One single tear fell down her cheek, and in a rush, she threw her arms around my chest and squeezed with all her might. Everything she felt in that moment was wrapped around me. I felt her pain, her hurt. I mean, here's this little four-year-old girl, devastated. And I had everything to do with it. I looked down on the ground while she was hugging me. I saw an arm under the rubble. It was the little girl's mother. And I realized that she was still there because she refused to leave her mother's side. If I could have died for man's sins, it would have been at that exact moment. If it, if it could have prevented. You know, I went into war thinking I was fighting for the common good. <laughs> the notion that we'd be heroes. <laughs> Let me tell you something. When you hold a small scared child in your arms and you see things from her point of view man it's all bullshit it's all wrong you question things you question everything about anything and it plays on you it plays on you so much that you think you're going crazy you're like, what's right? What's wrong? I mean, is this what God wants? What you've done, it eats at you. That's what it was like.